Sorry, I could feel myself getting tense and I didn't want to screw up by, by missing a bunch of headshots, so I decided to just play it safe. Give me a better, uh, give me more time to catch him. See, I've just been having a few problems with my technology. So yeah, I'm recording games that are like, like, God, this game's in Unreal 3, came out on the 360. It cannot possibly look that good. And like, it does, the thing is, is that, you know, I'm being mean to it. Because this game actually does look pretty good. Thanks to the merit of having an art style. This fun, cartoony, cartoony art style means that the game is aged better. Whereas something that, you know, does not have an art style and just tries to look, quote, realistic, unquote, just has to look as realistic as it can. And very few games that go for that art style actually have aged well. Like, I think Half-Life 2 is, like, one of the better ones. Sweet. But yeah, for some reason, games of this type don't really have too much going on. Like... This game and Orcs Must Die 2 both are very good. Sanctum is a bit more... It's a bit clunkier feeling. Um, and, like, looking back, I think I like Sanctum less, although at the time I actually did like the, like the sci-fi more. on um sorry no no I was boxing with him there <laughs> on uh on nightmare difficulty this would get me killed them getting past my lines of defense should mean that I, I failed but we can actually do a little something sometimes I almost feel bad for the orcs except not really in order to give me a bit more time we bottleneck them first there, and then we bottleneck them a second time. Uh, oh, that ain't good. Yeah, I'm trying to think about like the uh, the fanfare that Orcs Must Die got. I'm like, I don't know how much it actually got. All right, thank you. The fact that it was released on Stadia was like, well, it's a Stadia game, you know. And granted, it was more recently ported to Steam, and that's good. I'm I am supportive of it being ported to Steam. I don't think people should lose, you know access to a game, period. I think that they should keep access to a game that they paid for in general. Whether it's through a uh, one-time purchase or through a whether it's through a one-time purchase or through a monthly subscription fee. Or, God forbid, both. I think, like, conceptually the idea of this is the you you pay for it 
monthly and then you also buy things and paying for it monthly just gives you the privilege to buy things from the shop like that's evil man granted not every store actually works that way but i'll just suffice it to say i don't like that um oh, there's my camera again all right my beautiful beautiful face Look, I've got really pretty hair, and my, 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 my mouth is pretty, too. You should be able to see it move and talk. I'm looking at the camera in case I suck. Oh, this level kicks ass! I love this level! <laughs> uh, so, this is one where the... Um, yeah, sorry if I'm using the same things over and over again, but none of these are as good. Like this one, it kills guys. Kind of like this one. But they have to be closer. And this one stabs guys. That one's alright. This one sometimes stabs guys and it does a dot. This one pushes them. You could also just put a thing on the floor and, you know, flop them. This one is a combination of the... I don't know why this one's in here. This one's dumb. This one's just a combination of the of the brimstone and the, uh, the flipper. Oops. Um... So knocking them down there. The last thing you'll ever see. <laughs> knocking them down there is interesting. In I think if you knock an orc into that door. Actually, let's scoot this up. If you knock them into that door, I think it actually will cause like it'll deal damage to the door. Alright, so they can either come from down there, or they can come... Let's see if it works. Yeah, see that? So you can trigger the door to break early. And the reason is just because it's coded that whenever an orc runs into that door, then the door blows open. But in this case, no one is actually you know, blowing through it. It's just a, a, a bug wherein you can knock an orc into the door. It's like an Easter egg, you know? It's fun. It's cute. Yeah, just a very strange misstep, I feel like, for the franchise. This other game I've been talking about, Sanctum, the reason I'm talking about it is because it's the exact same genre. It's a hybrid shooter and tower defense game released by an indie company in 2011. And then it also... Good. You can hit shift and hot swap those. I didn't know you could do that. Um, and then it also does actually have a... Um, a, a, a very similar developmental cycle where... Like the first one came out and it was kind of almost a proof of concept. The reason I'm blowing them all down there is so I have more time to deal with them. But yeah, Sanctum 1 actually had a bunch of DLC. But then they kind of stopped working on Sanctum 1, even though it was still getting updates with DLC, in order to make Sanctum 2. And like, it does not show as bad with Orcs Must Die, because Orcs Must Die 1, the sequel is a lot better. But that's kind of what you want. You want to be able to say, yeah, when they when they figured the sequel, they basically worked all the kinks out of the first game and made the second one really, really good. How did they get past me? And who? And how? Wow. I've already five schooled every level besides some of the ones on that. Um, I actually not done the DLC campaign. Maybe I should do that. Yeah, that was like one of the big things with Sanctum. Like, the last thing you'll ever see. The fact that they had, um... 
So now is when that door is actually supposed to open. And you can see it's actually resealed in order to... Oh, I'm hitting that one. 